Colour is hugely important to who we are and how we live. Many colours will affect our mood. Some can excite and stimulate, some will soothe and calm. Some will even affect your appetite. But which colour has what effect and where should you put it? Watch these tips and you'll find out. Colour has always played a major part in our lives and now more than ever because there are literally hundreds of thousands to choose from. But they all have attributes from a very small family of colours. Colour has its own frequencies that affect both our mood and the atmosphere in our homes and making the right choice will really help you get more from where you live. You can get your home to deliver what you need and make colour work hard for you. Using bright red in your home is a big statement. It's sexy and it's dangerous. It's a basic primary colour that's associated with physical strength and excitement and is the first colour to grab our attention when viewed in a mixed palette. It's stimulating and lively, a bold colour with little subtlety that'll raise your blood pressure and affect your physical being. Too much of it can seem aggressive and demanding and you might feel irritable and impatient in a completely red room. On the other hand, a more subtle moderate tone can be restful and create a cosy warm feeling in a study or a dining room. As an advancing colour, it appears closer than it actually is. Perfect if you have a long room and want to bring the furthest wall visually closer to you to make the space seem squarer. So use a bright scarlet if you want to be on full alert and a softer, more subtle shade if you want enveloping comfort. Blue is associated with trust, serenity, coolness and calm. It's the colour of the mind and is essentially soothing, affecting us mentally rather than the physical reaction we have to red. Because of this and its association with purity, it's often used in the marketing of cleaning products and bottled water, further reinforcing its message of cleanliness and clarity that registers in our minds. Often used in public buildings where stress levels are very high, Blue has a very peaceful quality about it that promotes clear thought, it aids concentration and is mentally calming, so it's the perfect colour choice for kitchens and bathrooms. Blue doesn't appear to be as close to us as red, so it's a good colour if you want to make a wall feel further away than it actually is. Research has shown time and time again that blue is the world's favourite colour, but it can be perceived as cold, uninviting and unemotional, so temper it with soft terracottas and warm reds to keep it warm and friendly. Yellow is the most provoking colour you could choose for your home. Associated to self-confidence, emotional strength, friendliness and creativity, when used in moderation it triggers the synapses in the brain and will lift your spirits, encouraging confidence and optimism. Too much of it, or too vibrant a shade, it'll make you anxious and your self-esteem will dip. Yellows range from cream, pale primrose and sunflower right through to canary yellow and acid yellow, really strong, vibrant shades. And the colour that you choose should be a reflection of your personality. The trick is to choose a colour you like. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't use it. The best rooms to use yellow are hallways. These are often dark and it's a welcoming colour and also in kitchens or if you're lucky enough to have a breakfast room. As it promotes creativity and mental energy, so helps create a sunny, happy way to start your day. The room to avoid putting yellow in is a bedroom and particularly a baby's bedroom. Now yellow is a physiological primary which means it affects the emotions and surrounding yourself by that all through the night will mean that over time you'll wake up feeling irritable and annoyed and you won't really know why. 